Aaron, obviously it's been a rough stretch for this team. What gives you confidence that you can turn it around? Oh, just the, the players we got in this room. Um, you know, we got a lot of great ball players here that have a great track record. And, um, you know, like I said before, we, we're going to go through a little stretch like this, but it's, it's how we come back up the next day and respond. So, you know, we're able to get the win tonight. Um, you know, after the first inning where Nestor gave up three, you know, he, he you know, went out there and did his thing, and we just couldn't, you know, couldn't scratch anything, go, you know, off the of springs there. Understanding that you guys are without some some big bats in your lineup in Stanton and LeMahieu, but are you even a little bit surprised at, at how long this stretch has lasted, where you guys just haven't been able to get a ton going offensive? Yeah, you're surprised. You know, like I said, based on the type of guys we have and the type of guys filling those roles, once you know some of our big bats are out. Um, but we still got all the confidence in the world in each other, and I think that's what it comes down to: is just continue to rely on each other and. You know, go out there and do the job. Um, you know, our pitching staff these past couple of days have helped us out, and especially some, against some good teams, you know, kept the score low, but we just haven't been able to get with that big hit with guys on base. But, um, you know, we can't mope about it. we got to go out there and keep working. Is there a different feeling going through this when you have a 9-10 game league as opposed to last year or other years when you were fighting to get in? It's a little different, but it's still stressful. You know, you never want to lose. You know, never, no one in here is happy about it. Um, but, you know, having a little bit of a cushion helps, but that cushion can dwindle quick. So we got we to gotta stay on top of it. And, you know, guys are putting the work in. Guys are coming up. They're showing up. They're doing their thing. So, you know, it's just about going out there on the field and performing. You had a great... The, the, he thinks a little adversity could be good for a team sometimes. What do you think you guys can take from this stretch going forward? You know, it's better to have this happen now in August and, you know, the first week of playoffs or, you know, near the end of the year when you're getting into playoffs, you know, kind of getting punched in the mouth a little bit, you know, having it happen now and, you know, learn to respond, you know, to getting hit in the face a couple of times. Uh, it, it's going to be good for us. You know, you can't have the good without the bad. So, you know, I think it's good for everybody in this room to kind of go through this stretch and, you know, kind of look themselves in the mirror and say, hey, what do I need to do to get better so we can, you know, kind of get out of this rut. Have there been a lot of conversations amongst you guys in trying to get get right? Yeah, but we don't we don't want to overthink it too. You know, we know this is a tough game, and you know we know we haven't been playing up to the standard that we want to. So it's just like I said, it's just a lot of talks of us just relying on each other and saying, hey, you know, if you don't get the job done, I'm gonna pick you up. You know, if I don't get it done, like. And we still got, you know, especially I look in the first inning, you know, first inning they jump out to a three-run lead and then, you know, we couldn't get anything going to kind of respond. It's like, hey, you know, we still got three, four more at-bats and, you know, one of those at-bats might come with, you know, bases loaded or a couple guys on base and um, you can't throw away, throw away four at-bats after just one bad one. So we're going to continue to lean on each other, you know, push each other. Um, and we'll get through it. There's a report that Florio may come up. Uh, have you noticed what he's doing this year down in AAA and uh, his, his talent and pressure? Yeah, I've, I haven't seen. Um, I haven't watched every game or checked the stat line on him, but I know during the game they kind of show some of the minor leaguers what they're doing around the league, and I always see his name flashing up there on the board, you know, going three for four with a homer, still on two bases. And, you know, he's he's a special talent, man. The time I got a chance to play with him, seen him in spring training, he's a guy that always wants to learn. He's a hard worker. Um, you know, does the little things to you know help his team. So, if that's true, then he's coming up here. I don't, I don't know. I haven't heard that, but um, if it's true, it'll, it'll definitely help us out.